Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In this Stockcast Emporium review, we're going to be taking a look at a 164 scale Ertl tractor. This is the versatile Delta Track tractor. This is the 610DT. It's a quad track tractor, so it has four sets of tracks. It articulates in the center. Comes in this clamshell type packaging. So once you open it, you can't really put it back in the packaging and retain any kind of its collector's value. On the back, it has a little card that you can also punch out. It's got some specification details on it. Such as it has a Cummins engine with 605 horsepower. It also has the industry's largest cab. And this is a 2018 product right here. So with that said, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box and we'll go ahead and take a closer look at it. Here's the card inside, also the front of it anyway. And it's perforated so you can cut it out and keep the collector card if you want to. Alright, so here's the tractor. As I mentioned, it has four separate tracks and they are rubber. It articulates across the center joint, which is nice. In terms of detail underneath, other than that, there's really not much at all. There's no hoses across the pivot point. Uh, there are a couple screws, including one that's very noticeable up in the front. So if you are a customizer, that allows for a pretty easy disassembly of this tractor if you want to uh, obviously disassemble it or repaint it or do any other type of customizing to it. At the other end, there's a center hole that's, or a hole at the rear that's driven, that's uh, drilled out at the rear for attachments or implements that you can drag along behind this. If you apply some downward pressure, the tracks roll decently enough, you can get them to move, which is nice. And the range of articulation is pretty decent. Looking at the front, although it is pretty different from a Challenger, it kind of has that Challenger profile to me. It sort of reminds me of it. You have your lights here, which look good. They're painted. Your exhaust lights up here. That's all plastic. It's not metal. You have some die-cast stairs here in metal that are painted in kind of a goldish yellow finish to it. On the back as well, you have some lights, but no other detail. No hydraulic hoses or anything for to run your implements. But it still looks good enough in 164 scale. And uh, over here, still your stairs as well. There's been a decent effort to replicate the operator's compartment inside the cab. But again, it's all done up in plastic. But... It's affordable enough, and if you collect toy tractors or tractor models in 164 scale, I would recommend it. It's definitely not that expensive, um, and this is intended for enthusiasts over three years of age. So, if you're looking for a new addition to your tractor lineup, and perhaps of a manufacturer that you may not have heard of, such as Versatile, check out these. And as with all the 164 scale products you see on my channel, check out BurnettFarmToys.com. As always, guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.